we want to simplify the given expression. And this is actually called a complex fraction because we have fractions within fractions, which may sound like it's going to be confusing, but it's really not. The one thing you do have to remember, though, is that a fraction bar represents division. So this fraction bar right here represents division, which means you can rewrite this complex fraction as a division problem. This is equivalent to three-fourths divided by 15 sixteenths. And then we'll rewrite this as a multiplication problem. Dividing by 15 sixteenths is the same as multiplying by 16 fifteenths, or the reciprocal of this fraction. So this is equivalent to three-fourths times 16 fifteenths. And now before we multiply, we want to simplify by simplifying out all of the common factors between the numerators and denominators. And while it's not the shortest method, I think writing everything out in prime factored form is a nice way to identify all of the common factors. So for three-fourths, we'll have three, since three is prime. The prime factorization of four would be two times two times, well, sixteen is four times four, and each four is two times two, so we'll have four factors of two for the prime factorization of sixteen, and fifteen is three times five. So now that it's in this form, we can easily see there's a common factor of three here and here, which was the common factor between three and fifteen. And then notice there are two factors of two common here and here, which is the common factor of four between four and sixteen. Now we can multiply knowing the product will be in simplest form. So in the numerator we have two times two, which is four, and the denominator is just five. So notice when we have a complex fraction in this form, it can very easily just be written as a division problem involving fractions. I hope this was helpful.